Hello, one. It is Friday, July 5th, and day after Independence Day, so I wish everybody had, well, I hope everybody's had a safe and fun 4th of July with the fireworks and the barbecues and everything that goes along with it. So, uh, it's been a couple weeks since I've uh, done a video. I've been taking care of some uh, pressing matters, and now that all that is behind me, I am able to get back on the video wagon. So, I thought I would do a video today. Uh, this is not a new comic book video. We have a comic shop here in town that every Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday has a what they call a happy hour. Different deals during the course of the, uh, you know, every day has a different deal. Sometimes it's a two for one book or, you know, a certain amount off of a trade paperback. Uh, and every once in a while, they have a sale that I like, which is all their back issues that they have in their back issue bins are a dollar. So, uh, before anybody says, oh, great, you're not going to find a lot of, you're not going to find any Silver Age, you're not going to find any, you know, high key issues, you're not going to find the, you know, the $600 book in the dollar bin. But what you find are solid, if not spectacular books for a dollar that usually range in the eight to fifteen dollar eight to twenty dollar range if you look they have all types of books modern books uh... you know new stuff that's come out and then the older stuff which when i mean older i mean you know uh... mid seventies twenty cent covers twenty five cent covers and up So uh... today happened to be one of those days drove home thought I'd stop by see what i have now the bad thing with that is when they have this, everybody and their mother runs down there to try to grab books. So um, I stopped by, thought, you know, let me see what I can get. Picked up 12 books, and these are the books I got for a dollar each. Again, nothing real spectacular, but some solid books nevertheless. And again, these books aren't gem mint books. These aren't, you know, eight and nines. These fall in the uh, four to six range. Uh, usually, you know, VG plus to fine and that's what all these fell under but again for a dollar on an 8 to 10 12 dollar book you know I'm looking to open up a shop down the road and these are perfect books just to throw into a you know two three dollar bin and go from there so uh, let's take a look at what I got today uncanny x-men 151 Ghost Rider number 11 with the Incredible Hulk on the cover. Thought that was a really cool book. Uh, books that I enjoy anyways, I always try to find good copies of. Uh, and these happen to be a couple in there. Again, these are in the 4 to 5 range. Uh, Werewolf by Night number 3. Werewolf by Night number 4. I have a couple of these number 4s already, uh, but you know, for a buck why not and some books that I was really happy to find in there again nothing real fantastic uh, you know but solid um, these are some amazing spider-man's uh, again in the grades four to six uh, this one 143 this is the first appearance of Cyclone that is probably uh, you know lower end character but still for a dollar amazing spider-man 150 Amazing Spider-Man 151. You can see they had this price for nine dollars. Uh, and again, this is you know, this is probably a five five plus. So even for nine dollars, it was still a little under. But for a buck, it is an absolute steal. Uh, number 152 with appearance by the Shocker. 153. One fifty-seven with uh, Doctor Octopus. Again, for a dollar each, it's kind of a no-brainer on that. Uh, a Justice League of America one twenty-five. That's the only one they had of Justice League left, so I just grabbed it because it was decent. And a Swamp Thing number five. Of course, a Wrightson cover. You can't go wrong with that. Um, I've already gone through all these books. Um, 
couple of them I have to rebag. But the one thing that I always look for and is all the staples are attached. There are no coupons clipped out of them. The marble stamps are all that have marble stamps are all attached. Uh, so again, books that are in the four to six range for a dollar each, they only have this deal once every couple of months. Uh, but I call all the time because you know you never know. Like I said, today I spent a whopping twelve dollars, and even in the four to four to five range, uh, that is still a uh, really, really good deal. And again, um, I apologize for not getting uh, some videos up in the last couple weeks. I will get back to my uh, new comic book pickups next week. I am also going to start incorporating uh, some of my older uh, books that I've picked up probably in the last four to five months. Uh, to show that, I am going to do some movie reviews. Again, I was dealing with some issues, and now that that's taken care of, I can really jump back in and start taking care of uh, my YouTube uh, followers out there. And I appreciate all the support. Again, if you want something, shoot me a comment or a private message. I will be more than happy to... I try to answer all my messages. Uh, I usually do good or bad. I'll always give you an answer. And if there's something that you want to see or a movie that you want reviewed... Uh, by all means, please shoot a recommendation. Uh, again, uh, dollar bin pickup, nothing spectacular, but for the most part, I thought a pretty good, uh, pretty good little haul of books for twelve dollars. So, uh, hope you liked the video. Uh, but as always, if you didn't, nothing I can do for you. I will see you in the next couple of days. Have a great night.